So, how do we get an encounter in these? Can we actually encounter the ones in the lamp? I kind of don't think we can. Yeah, they run away. Okay. So, I think what we have to do is do a true wild encounter. So, first exclamation point we see is our encounter. Yep, there we go. Here's our encounter. Ah, dang, Shenotic. All right. Well, not a Grim Snarl, unfortunately. Can't even use um. It's actually a pretty bad matchup, honestly. Uh, pff, what am I sending against this? I think it's a Grass. I think it's a pure Grass type, but I'm actually not sure about that. I, I am gonna have to look this up. It might be Grass and Fairy. But let's see. Shenotic. It's uh, it's well. First off, it's crap. Um, and second off, it's a grass and fairy type. So we can switch in someone to deal with fairy types. What levels this? Thirty six. Uh, technically this is a safe option. Broken void is pretty safe too. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's swap in Broken Void for the status. Now this thing probably has its own status moves that it can use against us, so that's not good. Giga Drain. Wow, that did a lot. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. That's fair. Uh, let's Willow Wisp it. Sleep powder. Oh no! Dang! Come on. So cheap. All right, hang on. Different strat. Different strat. We're gonna switch back into. Um, I just remembered. We do have pen missile. I'm gonna switch back in. Oh, I can toxic it. I can toxic it. That puts a timer on us, but I can toxic it if I really want to. We're not gonna let it use sleep powder on us again. Okay, so pen missile. Shouldn't kill it. Yeah, we're good. Even if it hits five times, we should be okay. Oh, pfft. Hit two times. Drink sap. Oh, that's gonna heal it. Now, we don't have that high of an attack stat, but the first one is pretty good. Alright, we're gonna pit missile again. So, let's see. Hopefully, this hits more than twice. Ah, oh, dang. Moonlight. Wow, look at all these healing moves. It has. Dang, look at all these healing moves. I might have to toxic it just to bring its health down. Alright, we're gonna toxic it. We gotta we gotta have some toxic gameplay. <laughs> Alright. Now the bad thing is that its health is gonna go down exponentially. Well no, it's gonna double every time. Which I guess is exponential. But anyway. Um So yeah, we gotta be careful about how we handle this. Basically, I have to catch it next turn. If we get a lot of hits here. Whoa, that was a crit. That's not good. Okay, two times. Okay, so we're good. Wow, this thing is really a status layer. Alright, so... Cool. Uh, we will use a Great Ball. Cool. Oh, wow. I mean, it is fully evolved, to be fair. Now, the good thing about this is that Shrink Sap is not going to do nearly as much that now that our attack has been lowered. Didn't heal it. It healed it all the way? Yo. Okay, but also Toxic is starting to build up. Pretty badly. We're just going to keep stalling with uh, Great Balls, because it really can't do anything to us. We, qu we quad resist Giga Drain. Um, and to Toxic is going to start stacking up really bad. Um, so. And honestly, if we miss this encounter, I'm not that heartbroken about it. We should be getting to half health pretty soon in terms of toxic damage. I'll read off its base stats while we're waiting for this thing to get in this Pokeball slowly. Um, oh, cool, got him. So, base stats, 60 HP, 45 attack, 80 defense, 90 special attack, 100 special defense, and 30 speed. 
This thing is slow. It doesn't have great moves. It does have Spore. Spore is 100% accurate sleep move, in case y'all didn't know. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's hope we got a useful ability, because Illuminate would be useless on it. Alright, come on, we- alright, alright. Now, uh, we were doing the spy thing earlier, but like, come on, we got we gotta name this that. Shrooms or something? Come on, it's, it's a mushroom, we gotta come up with something for this. Uh, what do you like? I kinda like Doom Shroom Rhyme, so I kinda like it, but this does look a lot more like Hypno Shroom. Kinda, kinda wanna go with Hypno Shroom. Because it kind of looks like one. Mm, no. What do y'all think, though? Ah, just enough characters. Just enough characters. Just enough characters. I think it's hyphenated. Instead of, um... Space Hypno... Hypno Shroom. Alright, uh, let me check its ability, because it's either Illuminate or something useful. It's Illuminate, crap. Uh, plus speed is, I guess, okay. Minus attack is okay. Uh, it's crap. Anyway, we're gonna put it in the, um, the old box. Its base stats are bad. Really bad. Alright, so, uh, now that we have some... Or, now that we have a Pokemon that's asleep, we kind of need to heal him. So, we're going to cure him of his sleep and keep on going. He's in Awakening. Alright, so. Uh, do full heals. Those will be useful. Outside of battle, not in battle. Oh, hello there. <laughs> we're just kind of staring up at him. <laughs> we're just like... Battle me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's battle. Are you looking for mushrooms? They give off light when you touch them. Hey, at least the Pokeball isn't in the ladle. <laughs> He's, yeah, I've never seen an Awakening work on a Snorlax, to be fair. Uh, so this thing is a fairy type, if I recall. So. Hopefully we're okay. Aw, oh, missed. Crap. I said armor. Okay. And we probably should just go for Giga Drain. Honestly, Miss Scarlet shouldn't even be the lead here. Because, um, she's the most overleveled of the whole team. Like, I love them. 11 levels up. It's a, li it's a little high. I'd rather be li leading with Bruce Lee, but he has too many issues here. Um, this is a ghost and fairy type, if I recall, so we should be okay with Giga Drain. Ooh, Sucker Punch. Oh, we're pretty overleveled. Our defense is not good, we're just badly overleveled. I probably won't be changing for the next gym, so... Hypnotic, this thing is crap, as we have already established. Uh, we'll just use Pin Missile. Oh, wait, does Fairy resist Bug? That would actually explain a couple things. That would actually explain a couple things. Explain why we weren't getting all that much damage from it earlier. Do I remember when Cacnea always used Pin Missile back in, um... Like, the Hoenn region anime? I actually really liked, um... What, what's y'all's favorite, um... Team Rocket Pokemon? I I think my favorite was Arbok overall. It had more it had more personality than Weezing, and I like the original the best. For, ooh, look at those. Ooh, look at that five hits. Very nice. It's effectively a hundred base twenty five move. Very nice. So yeah, I think Arbok was my favorite, but I think Cacnea was my second second favorite. So loyal. Uh, let's see. We're gonna switch out Miss Scarlet from the lead and hand those duties over to Double O Seven. Yeah, actually, there are grass types here, but I shouldn't. Mm, this is tough. 
Neither of them really want to lead. But I guess we'll lead with double. Oh, Marini. Yeah. I really like Marini too. I forgot about forgot about her, honestly. She's really good. That that episode where she comes back to James. So good. So wholesome. They had a really wholesome relationship. Really did. We're kind of a ooh, that's Oh. Wait, we can. Oh, interesting. Anyway. Uh, let me give that big root over to uh, Miss Scarlet because that is actually a pretty good item considering that she is using uh, Giga Drain as her only attacking move right now. And I don't believe... Man, that's kind of good. And we'll worry about the rest of those later. Marini's really good. I like her. Ooh, a double battle. Uh, who do we have as our leads? We're probably going to use Pokemon within the forest, so I guess these are fine. Probably heal, but probably overleveled. Hmm. Double battles are scary because they can double up on you and um, really wreck your day. Okay, well that Nine Tails is an easy one shot. Um, Gorilla, I don't think we have anything that's really that threatening coming off of it. Might have. Sh I don't think I have Shadow Ball. That's easy on Nine Tails. Let's do Nightshade on Gorilla. Easy one shot. All right. Now we're not going to take out Gorilla, but be faster. Yeah. Thigh Beam on. Yeah. All right. Nightshade, it should do about half. Oh, a little bit more. Nice. Nightshade does damage based off of your level. So, it's really consistent for damage. Honestly, a lot of offensive Pokemon only have, like, um... You know, like, uh, 150 HP or something by the time they hit level 50, or somewhere, like, around uh, in the low hundreds or so. Yeah, it's hard to see uh, Justine James is a bad person for real. They're just out there to... <laughs> they're really just out there to uh, see the strength that Pikachu has, honestly. They're just obsessed with... They they want to lead the good life. And they think Pikachu is the goal to that. They just want to be... They want to be rich and famous. And they're also just having fun with what they're doing, honestly. I think we can hit those mushrooms. Ooh, a TM. Gotta get that TM. I don't think we can wrap over there quite yet, though. Unless we can. Oh. Can we? Okay. Uh. Ooh. What if we go this way? Ooh, not that way. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I don't think they're, like, the hardcore bad guys, for sure. Giovanni, though? He's a bad guy. Like, have y'all seen Giovanni in, like, the movies and stuff? That dude is a bad dude. Like, I remember when he basically just whacked. Team Plasma back in, um, not Plasma, uh, Galactic and Gen 4, some of those animes. Choker. <laughs> Which one? Persona or Batman? <laughs> uh, there's too many Jokers out there nowadays. Honestly, too many Jokers. Alright, so, easy one shot. Ooh, two NDDs. Batman. Let's see, how deep can I go? Batman. And that's not like really talking. How, how, let's see. Batman. I, I don't think I can go much lower than that with like an actual voice. Like I can do the raspy thing. Batman. Or something like that, but like, um. <laughs> I can't, can't go much lower than that. I'm Batman. Oh. Oh. More grub. Okay. Hopefully we can one-shot this thing. It is an evolved Pokemon. Wow, that's actually significantly higher level than everything else around here. Sucker Punch is gonna hurt. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. That's fair. Alright, alright, alright. 
Oh, easy one shot. It, it, sometimes it's really easy to underestimate just how powerful stab is. 50% buff on an attack is really, really good. It is really, really good. Alright, I believe our free TM is up here. In this moss. The one time you side him, it's not that good. Well, let's get our free TM. What is it? Hey, U turn. That's actually, uh, actually a pretty solid momentum move, honestly. You might teach that to a thing or two. And oh, I believe we're through. I believe we are indeed through. Very nice. Alright, the good thing is we now have um lol lol. <laughs> Imagine if those last L's were not on there. It was just lolling at us as we walked in town like, lol, this gym leader's gonna whack you. <laughs> and the good thing is we have, um, steel type coverage now. Which is super effective against fairy. I'm not 100% confident that these Pokemon won't have something like Shadow Ball or something on them. But... If they don't, this gym is super free. So... 37 is pretty good. Good enough, probably. Uh, I think we have enough in terms of items. Although, I think we are going to have to be doing a number of battles back to back, which is kind of rough. So... Mm, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Alright, so... Is there anything else we need to do here? Because I intend to go challenge the gym pretty much right away. Um, if not... I don't think there's anything else we can or need to do. Um, Gyro Ball should be good for coverage. Oh, we're looking for a man here. Hang on. <laughs> that was that was really vague. <laughs> we need to deliver a letter. Old letter. We deliver to a boy. Looks old. Try him. Hmm. <laughs> He's... <laughs> I guess we'll be encouraging. Hmm. So he's trying to become a Pokemon. Uh, we're good. What about this boy? No. Alright, hang on. We gotta find a boy to del deliver this letter to. By him? Looking for Frank? Oh, a letter addressed to him. Hmm. Hmm. She looked well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Choice Scarf. Uh, that actually. That might be worth running on, um, the Scarlet. Okay, so we delivered the letter, so if we go back to Hammerlock, we'll be able to get the Reaper Cloth. Now, since I don't have anyone to trade with, I'm not going to worry about doing that quite yet. We'll go see how the gym get. Go see how the gym goes. So, yeah. Alright. Gym time. Hey, Marnie. Oh, Chandra Cornyn. You got four gym badges already? I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Hoorah! Look, even more Pekka is wary of you. Wait, more Pekka, don't it tell me you actually like Corrin? Uh, we've already had a serious battle with her. She's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of my lead cards, okay? <laughs> her theme's so calm. What's that look with you, huh? It, this just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, alright? There aren't too many gym challengers left, you know, so so we're meeting in finals. You got that? <laughs> yeah, she yeah, kinda. She kinda is after a date. Kinda funny. Uh what are you Oh, we can buy uniforms. That's kinda cool. 
Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll stick with our normal uniform. Nothing wrong with it. Um, I think we have enough items, question mark. Check what he has, though. Hyper potions, got 12. Looking good there. We have most of the relevant healing items. Get a few more awakenings. It's a psychic type gem. Probably have hypnosis. Uh, let's see. And we'll go... Who do we lead with? Right, we're going to try men Mental Toll. Try to lead with him. The first few battles should be easy enough. It's a very serious examination. Hmm. Well, consider being intrigued. I'm, I'm prepared for your test. Hmm. All right. Now relax, clear your mind, and go break a leg. Fairy type people are so eccentric. At least they're more normal than like the Gen 6 fairy type people because they, they were like creepy doll ladies in uh, <laughs> Gen 6. Like they were whack. Now they just seem like eccentric old people, which is fine. Feel as appropriate. Ah, there you are, my dear Jim Challenger. Though you really are lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. Though my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts too. Oh, don't worry. It's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh, but if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy-type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now, I, will, I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. She's funny. I like her. She was really creepy my first run, but Opal, Opal's warmed up. Alright. Let's head on in. Let's do this. Alright, okay then, it's time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the Fairy-type gym leader. Let's do this. She, it's like a half-dab. If you had her head down, that'd be a dab. Fritzy, alright. Fairy-type, good. We got a Steel-type. wonder if the Psychic Terrain is up. No, okay. It's just a gym. Alright, so I'm gonna say we go for Gyro Ball. Oh, we're faster than it? Yo. That's actually kind of cringe. Psychic. Not very effective? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Question. Do you know about fairy types' weaknesses? Uh, both of these types are correct, actually. They are weak to both. They are also resisted by fire types. Though not weak to them. Special attack and special attack. Well, let's try extra sensory and see how this goes. Ooh, that's a damage. We can probably sweep. I like that they give you stat boosts in this gym. Now, this should be considerably tankier. Oh, we're slower. Okay, that lowers defense. Oh no, it's attack. What is it? Speed. I was wrong. <laughs> well, now Gyro Ball should be able to do a whole lot. Let's try Gyro Ball. Actually, it only has uh, 5 PP. We should probably save that. That's not very effective. We are a steel type, but good to know that we might have to worry about that coverage. Thanks for showing your cards. The Surpluff can carry Energy Ball, which is not good for Dobble. We need to be worried about. Very good. If you stand your ground with everything you've got, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong. I really like the victory theme for the gems. They're really good. I see, I can't say what Miss Opal will think, but you've at least piqued my interest. Alright, now I can tank another one back to back, but... Eh. I'm the second trainer, don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Hmm. I'm gonna kind of get worried if we have to take on too many trainers back to back because we're gonna have to switch first turn every battle um, because we can't use items in battle so this is kind of a rough challenge hmm all right I'm gonna save my gyro balls for now draining kiss very tight move definitely resisted but hmm 
Mm. Question. What was the previous trainer's name? Ah, crap. Uh, I think it was Annette. Yeah, alright. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be on it. You gotta be on it for these, ooh, speed rose? Uh, Sajara Ball's even worse now. Yeah, we all speed it. Cool. It looks fainted. It's pretty bad when you use Gyro Ball and you outspeed the opposing Pokemon. <laughs> That, that, that's pretty low brain strats. Alright, so Gyro Ball is still a bad option for us. Uh, let's go for more extra sensory. Wow, that did not do a whole lot. I might need to use Hypnosis on this thing. Oh, wait, that's confusion. Dude, that's not good. Uh, we're just going to go for damage, because... Ah, crap. Not good. Ooh, draining kiss. Oh man, we're taking all sorts of damage. Ah, oh. uh. okay, We'll try for. I think I don't think our strategy changes. Dang, we hit ourselves again. So unlucky. It's only. Is it? I thought it was twenty-five percent or thirty-three percent chance. But maybe I'm wrong. All right, I'm gonna. Which is this the smartest thing to do? Probably not, but I feel like it will definitely be beneficial to us. We it's shown a bunch of fairy type moves, so I think we switch into Broken Void. He's the tankiest thing we've got. I want to preserve Broke um, Mental Toll for a little bit later. Because I think Gyro Ball could really do some damage. Now we aren't going to resist this. This can do some fair damage to us. Alright, let's, uh... Let's Nightshade. Plus, I don't think Broken Void is going to be all that... Oh, gosh, it switched moves. Uh, okay, well, that's not that much worse. Okay, so I think even if it goes for a uh, Sweet Kiss again, it should be okay. Can Nightshade crit? Does anyone know? Oh. Confusion. Rip. Uh, let's see. Please don't hit yourself. Yeah, alright, finally. If Nightshade could crit, that'd actually be pretty cool, but I don't think it can, because it does damage based off of your level, so. Alright, cool. Got through it. Pedal, what what the heck is Pedal Blizzard? Base 90. Close up everything around it. Eh, it's more powerful, but then we lose the ability to heal. That's a tough call. That's a that's a really tough call. Um, it doesn't look like it commits to anything. 15 higher base power, but like. No, yeah. I'm gonna keep Giga Drain for now, but that might that might end up switching in the future. Don't worry about right or wrong. Just keep moving forward. Okay, so I don't remember the name of the the previous trainer. So hopefully we don't get a question like that again. Uh, I think you might have what it takes to be a fairy type gym leader. What was? Let's see what her name is. Theodora. Okay. Okay. Morigama. This is what it's called. Morgrim. Sorry. Oh, this thing is a dark type. Oh, I need to switch. <laughs> I need to switch. This thing is a dark type. Crap. Uh, Dobble. That's actually pretty bad. And there's a very good chance we'll see one in the gym leader battle. Ooh, fake out. Okay. Alright. Question? What do I eat for breakfast? Oh, how are we supposed to know that? Omelets. Okay. See, I think I answered it wrong the first time because I said, oh, curry, because that was the gimmick for this game is that you can make curry. And I was like, ew, who eats curry for breakfast? I was like, oh, well, excuse me for not knowing that the Pokemon world has omelets. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do I... Know? What are your chickens? You know, is there a chicken Pokemon? 
Yeah, what do you do? Eat torchic eggs or something like that? That's, that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, snipe shot. I mean, all right, all right. Where do omelets come from in the Pokemon world? I need, I need this lore. Someone needs to look this up and tell me. Where do Pokemon omelets come from? It has to be Torchic, right? It's Torchic eggs. It's gotta be. I don't like far-fetched lay eggs, and it's not really a chicken anyway, so... I'm like a duck. Can't think, can't think of another chicken Pokemon. So it could be... I could be, like, really missing something. All, all I can think of is Combuskin. And, um, stuff like that. Mental Toll, Iron Defense, little moves. Now, if we got... What's the move that's based off of defense? It's new in this generation, I'm pretty sure. Uh... What was... I don't remember. Oh, was that it? Cool. 